Everything in your life. As the proverb says, to discipline your thoughts. Stop thinking too much. I've been seeing a lot more people using these little, I guess you could call these tricks or trends in their cinematic reels. So the first one is basically making the screen really small. So it brings the attention of whatever you're showing right to the center of the screen. If you go to effects, add an adjustment layer on top of your clips, you can just go to fusion and here we're just going to drag a background node. And then on this background, node, we're going to add a square. It's not going to be perfect. So we're going to have to adjust these a little bit. And then we just adjust the corner radius to whatever you want. Point two seems to be a standard that a lot of people are using right now. And then you just invert this mask. And now you have that sort of like cinematic, I guess you would call this cutout, but there is a word for it. I just can't remember right now. And then here, if you want to change the actual background color, you can do that as well. So now that you have this adjustment layer, you can just rename these by selecting it, going to the inspector and then file, and then just rename these or a cutout, let's call these. And now we have our first cinematic element. Now, the next trend that I've seen a lot of people are using, and which is an extremely simple idea, is the idea of blending modes or adjusting the blend modes of your text. So if you write whatever, you just have these, and then you just select a cool font. If you go to settings, let me open the inspector to be a little bit bigger. There it goes. Okay, so we have this text right here on top of our scene. And what a lot of people are doing is playing around with the composite mode. So if you go to settings and then go to composite mode and then play around with the different values right here or selecting the different options, you can get some pretty interesting effects. Now, one that I've seen a lot of people use is the one called exclusion. And that adds a little bit of an interesting effect on top of your clip. And that makes these stand out a little bit better. Now, in my opinion, in this case, it doesn't work that great, but it all depends on where you position it most likely. Now, if you don't want the text to be limited by the overlay that you created, just put this on top of it. And now you can move your text and have that be a little bit more composited with your clip. The last trend that I've seen a lot is the one of composited subtitles. There is no such thing as tomorrow. There never will be because time is always now. Now, I've already done a video about this. So instead of me showing you again how to do that, I'm just going to link that video right here somewhere. It's actually a pretty simple process. It just takes a little bit of time. So if you want to know more about that, make sure to check out this video right here.